Good morning, everyone. We thank you so much, Bell Choir. You make our worship services so special. I always love hearing those bells. So welcome, everyone, to Chevy Chase Presbyterian Church here at the gateway to the city where Christ is our center and children are our blessing and justice is our passion. Today is Music Sunday, and we get to hear the children sing and the handbells play and the choir. It is a beautiful Sunday to celebrate our ministry of music and what a delight it is to honor the bells and voices, the pipes, the piano keys, all the people who give us their gift of music. We are truly blessed here, and we are truly blessed by the gifts of our director of music, Julie Vidrick Evans. For just for now, let's just... It is a communion Sunday. We celebrate the Lord's Supper, and so I remind everyone at home to get a piece of bread or your bagel and your coffee or a bit of juice so that we can all celebrate the Lord's Supper together. The Spirit of God unites us in the holy act of sharing the meal. Children, you will find a bulletin when you're done singing, and the ushers can bring you one, and crayons, because there is something for you to color on the back of the bulletin. You can see on the front of the bulletin, there's a pretty picture of one of our stained glass windows that's right over there that is all about music. And on the back of your bulletin, you can color that in with whatever colors you would like it to be. And there's also room there for you to draw your favorite instruments or to draw something in our worship service. A reminder that this afternoon at 4 o'clock, it is the final concert of the 53rd Chevy Chase concert season, and we are excited to present Vivian Chen, a concert pianist who is the winner of the prestigious Washington International Piano Competition. So please join us at 4 o'clock. And then at 5.30, there is an all-church barbecue at the home of Arnie and Susan Brooks. Uh, just come and get together. You do not have to RSVP anymore. There's plenty of food for everyone. So please come. If you don't know where Arnie and Susie live, Susan live, you can go to the church website, go to events, there's a calendar, click on it and the address is there. The calendar in the church website is your friend. <laughs> you can get all of the information that you need for all of our uh, ministries and things that are happening. This coming Saturday, we will celebrate the service of witness to the resurrection for the life of Nancy Gwynn. That is at 11 o'clock on Saturday. And our flowers this morning are from the celebration of life and witness to the resurrection of Marilyn Voigt, which took place yesterday. My friends, we have so much for which to be grateful. We have so much to do in worship, to praise God, to lift up all of our needs, our joys, our concerns, everything that will help us be whole and joyful people. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let's worship God.
are comfortable and join me in the call to worship. Shout with joy to the Lord, all you lands. And sing. sing to the Lord with the harp, with, the harp and the voice of song. with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Shout with joy before our sovereign the Lord. Let the sea make a noise and all that is in it. The lands and those who dwell therein. God seeking grace and healing, things build up in our lives, and we need to be able to speak them to God, that God's grace may come into our hearts and souls and relieve our burdens and bless us with grace. Let us join together in our prayer of confession, living God. Your spirit is moving through the world all around us. Forgive us when we fail to see. Your spirit moves through song, melody, and rhythm. Forgive us when we fail to hear. Your spirit calls to us a way of life set apart from the ways of the world. Forgive us when we fail to listen. Open us to the movement of your spirit so we might follow where it leads. (laughs) 
before the vast mystery of time and space, God made us through his love. Hear and believe the good news. In Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. The peace of Christ rules in your heart with gratitude in your hearts. Sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let us share signs of Christ's peace with one another. This morning for our time with children, our children's choir are singing for us. Thank you all so much. We are so glad that you are staying in worship today. We are going to need your help setting the communion table later in the service. The Lord is our help. The Lord is our strength. The Lord is our hope. And therefore, we come before God with our prayers of intercession, with our joys and our concerns. I know that there is a group who is going to Chicago, and um, I wonder if Sawyer Massey is here. You want to tell us something about 
you collected quite a few crocs, and I'm wondering if you would um, give us a joy about that. I would like to, to give thanks for the church community. We've raised over 150 pairs of crocs and head to Chicoho on Saturday, so I give thanks for all the support and also ask for prayers for safe travels to Chicoho. Lord, in our joy, and a happy birthday to Bob Angus, who turned 95 this past week. <laughs> Lord, in our joy, Hear our prayers. and many of you know that June is Pride Month, and we are celebrating Pride Month, and we are so happy that the church is an inclusive church, an affirmative church, we celebrate LGBTQ plus people, we know that the world isn't always quite there with us. And so our joy is also a prayer that we may continue to have a world that is accepting and open and full of love. Lord, in our joy, hear our if you have a joy or concern that you would like to share with the congregation, please come forward to the microphone. Also, for those of you at home, if you would write your prayer in the chat box, then we will be able to share that as well. In the continuing saga of my prison pen pal, Anthony, he has had a really rough time. I don't know if you remember, but he was released last fall, and then he got into some kind of a situation with his family that he ended up back in the D.C. jail. And since then, he has been moved around the country from one penitentiary to another. He's now back in Pennsylvania at Lewisburg, and I just got another letter from him, and he's really discouraged, so I ask for prayers for Anthony. He's really, he's really a good man. He just has had a hard time staying out of trouble. So please keep Anthony in your prayers. Thank you. Lord, in your mercy. He's such a gentleman. His wife taught him well. Um, I'm Dana again. I just want to say thank you to so many folks who sent such kind cards for the loss of my mother-in-law. Um, that just means so much. Really, thank you all. Um, if you could also pray for my dad, who's going through some health problems. Sometimes when it rains, it pours, and it means a lot to have you all as church family and thinking of us. Lord, in your mercy. We love you, Dana. So, Julie, I'm sorry, but I have very good news for my pen pal, so uh, forgive me. Uh, I, I, his name is Michael Graves. Uh, he has been in, I guess, for about 10 years or thereabouts. He, uh, armed robbery, he, he, he says that he robbed probably at least 18 banks and uh, was only at, uh, Go, went to jail for, for two, I think, but the, the one that he did go for, they had, he did it in uh, uh, Rockville and they stopped 270 and caught him and his partner uh, on 270 having stopped uh, traffic and stuff. But it, I, I've been going back and forth and pretty regularly. And as usual, uh, my dear wife comes into the uh, play um, every time it just overshadows me like it's nothing but uh anyway so uh so i've been going back and forth with michael and michael said could you please help me to get in touch with uh my two kids from two different mothers and mary and my daughter Susanna uh gave him a bunch of information so he says in the letter i, I literally just got this morning so i'm so excited so forgive me ladies i cannot thank you enough for the research you did y'all did to locate the addresses and phone numbers of my children and family members. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have reconnected with a bunch of family members and communicate with a few very regularly. It took a while, but my son 
is finally writing me letters. And th th we got him the information maybe three years ago or something like that. It's been a long time. Um, and I, I, my heart is overwhelmed. And with only 20 months left, I am. Um, God is working on all of us. And we have no worries ahead because of God. And um, I, it just, to get a letter like this and to be in a place where I can uh, stand up and talk about it is having uh, my own father been in, in prison while I was growing up. And so I am, this is very meaningful to me and I appreciate y'all listening. Thank you. Lord in our joy. Prayers are also asked for Jane Wood as um, she is still in suburban hospital after three surgeries for her right hip, um, but will be transferred to acute rehab soon. So please uh, let us pray for Jane Wood. Lord, in your mercy. And Bill Hoffman asks prayers for healing for the six members of the Hoffman family, including himself, who contracted COVID during a joyful family reunion in Oklahoma for the wedding of uh, Tally Hoffman and Eric Onlid. Lord, in your mercy. Come to the CCPC picnic at our house tonight. Everyone's welcome. We have tons of food. We have a good number coming. We're expecting about 50 of you. There's always room for more. We always make extra food. So uh, my husband's at home making baked beans right now. Uh, <laughs> so Dana, you open the, the well and I'm <laughs> crying here. Uh, but we're going to have fun. Um, see me afterwards for the address. I have some signs posted and just love to have you. We have a babysitter or two who are going to be there, and it's just going to be fun. Okay, please come. Lord, in our joy.
holy God, words alone cannot express our love for you. So thank you for the gift of music. And on this Sunday, we are grateful for our ministry of music, for chancel choir singers and children choir singers, for soloists and section leaders, for our organ, our director of music, for hymnals and congregational singing, and many other musical expressions of faith, we are truly grateful. Lord, in our joy, O oh, breath of our breath and song of our song, throughout the week you whisper to us a tune, a phrase, a melody that we have heard in church, and it inspires us and reminds us of your holy presence, and we are truly grateful. Sing to us always that our whole lives may be accompanied by songs of faith, Lord, in your mercy, we pray for those who find it difficult to sing today, for all who have been silenced by fear or violence. We especially remember the people of Ukraine. The saddest songs can barely express our grief for the people of Gaza. And we pray for the success of negotiations for a permanent ceasefire in Gaza. Lord, in your mercy, we hear the music of our hearts. You hear. You know the sound of our laughter. You hear our cries of grief, anger, and pain. You hear even the silence of our tears. You know our prayers even before we speak. Indeed, O oh God, heal the sick, mend the broken, strengthen the faint-hearted, give hope to the troubled, and peace to the dying. Hear all the songs of your people today. Songs of peace, songs of healing, songs of justice and hope, and songs of praise. Lord, in your mercy.
Please join me in singing the prayer for illumination. You'll find it um, at hymn 288, and you may remain seated. Oh, my Jesus, 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 oh, my Jesus,
This next piece is by a composer that you might recognize, uh, Ken Lowenberg, our uh, music director emeritus, has uh, recently published this work on um, the Thomas Trauger text. And uh, it's very beautiful. And I think this might be the Washington premiere. Music is a gift from God, and so we return that gift with our songs. All that we have is a gift from God, and so let us return to God a portion of what we have for God's work of praise, God's work of justice, and God's work of peace in the world through this church. I also invite our children to go back to the narthex uh, to begin to prepare the elements and all of the dishes, the bread, 
so that you can come forward and set the table. Oh God, you gather more and more people to your table, a table that extends across varied worship spaces, cultures, and communities. Bless the gifts that each of us brings today, whether monetary or the glorious gift of music. In each gift, we find your love and grace. May these gifts strengthen bodies, nourish spirits, and be used for your glory. Amen. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Let us come to the table and feast on love and grace. We pray. We thank you, O oh God. You made the world and you made us. You gave Adam and Eve a garden. You showed Noah a rainbow. 
You gave strength to Moses to free his people. You sent Jesus to show us how much you love us. He laughed with those who laughed and cried with those who cried. To the sad, he spoke hope. To the sick, he gave healing. To those with no friends, he was a friend. And when his friends turned against him and he was nailed to a cross and died, you lifted him from the grave, alive forevermore to be with us. So come, Lord Jesus, and send your Holy Spirit upon us and these gifts that touched by your Spirit, they and we may be signs of love and life in our world and to each other. Amen. On the night, on the night he was betrayed, Jesus took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks to God, he broke the bread, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body. Do this, that you may remember me. In the same manner, Jesus took the cup after supper, and he said to his disciples, Take and drink, all of you. For this is my life blood, which is poured out for you. Do this in remembrance of me. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Let us keep the feast.
Let us join together in our prayer after communion. Holy God, you have so greatly loved us, long sought us, and mercifully redeemed us. Give us grace that in everything we may serve you faithfully, so that all may know your abundant life. Amen. to come forward. Julie has been the maker of music and the power and the force and the leadership of our ministry of music for 17 years. And so we thank you. And now, my friends, we leave from this place singing songs of joy, and we go with the love of God and the grace of Christ Jesus and the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit with us this day and forevermore. Amen.